Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be following what I eat in a day, specifically what I eat this day. It's always different. As you see, I'm preparing some lemon water, and I like to drink lemon water on an empty stomach. They say there's a lot of health benefits, but even if I don't drink lemon water, I definitely drink water in the morning. Doesn't matter what day, but I definitely try to drink at least eight ounces of water first thing in the morning. Here I am making avocado toast. So I absolutely love avocado toast and I found that I need to really find things that I thoroughly enjoy to have to, in order to eat breakfast consistently because I'm not a huge breakfast person but something like toast, avocado toast, I can actually eat this any time of the day. I'm excited and I will more than likely make sure I do eat breakfast. Next here I'm just making a smoothie. Now I did add in some dates to the smoothie to try to sweeten it up because I was only using mangoes and strawberries and those are a lot more tart but if you have ripe bananas obviously that would sweeten up this smoothie much better than dates um if you do add dates make sure that you just take the seed out because you don't want all those little you know you don't want it gritty unless you like that if you like that then you can leave them in but my blender broke after this so love that for me you guys this combo, first time trying it this way, I actually have to give credit to Colleen Diaz because I was watching her vlog and she put honey and sriracha on and I was like, okay, what is this? And I tried it, hooked. I can't wait to have breakfast tomorrow. It is so good. And as you see, I'm just putting on a little makeup, getting ready for the day and still drinking now my smoothie. And y'all, this is when the rest of the day, I mean... It was going so smooth as you see you know the the lighting was good we were getting good shots of the food i'm gonna just give y'all fair warning it, it goes a little downhill after this but i promised y'all that this year was going to be consistent and it also was going to be real so it's been a super busy morning i had to stop my workout because i have to be somewhere so i had to get gas on my way here so i just ran in there and just picked up any um, protein shake it's one of my biggest tips y'all like if you're on the go, like please make sure to take like a banana, some type of like protein with you. Alrighty, y'all. So it is lunchtime, and we have some steamed broccoli. Um, I got my prepped chicken that I made yesterday. This right here, I make like probably two, three times a week. I absolutely can eat this. I absolutely can eat this all the time. Crew's approaching. I love this and can eat it all the time. Today has been. Honestly, today has been such a chaotic, unsuccessful day. I had went all the way to South Coast Plaza to look for something for Thailand for his birthday. They didn't have it, and so that kind of threw me off. But as you guys seen, I did pick up a protein shake. I don't know if I really explained it when I was in the car. If you are looking to gain weight, it's absolutely vital that you are prepared, that you have some type of snack, preferably like a protein snack, like a protein shake or a protein bar. You guys know I love Bill Bars. So those are something that I will take along with me or just have if I'm in a time crunch because what you don't want to do, you don't want to have such a long stretch between your meals because then you can be like unintentionally fasting and that's the opposite of what you want to do if you are trying to gain weight. It definitely helps me out to like have shakes and all that. I know not everybody loves supplementing their like food, but I don't necessarily supplement. I still have a good three meals a day. I just add in the shakes or the bars to help me meet my calorie goal. And that's another thing. Tracking your calories for me, I feel like is the only way and i don't track it like super closely i will like throughout the day sometimes just go in my fitness pal and just load in what i've had and see where i'm at but i don't like to wait until the end of the day i really like to sorry crew is grabbing the tripod i really do like to plan ahead so last night I actually entered in because I already knew I was going to have my avocado toast for breakfast. I knew I had my prep chicken and my prep salmon. So I kind of inputted in like what I would like to have today um, to see like where I would be at. And I kind of know ahead of time. So that's something you could do even too. Like you can the night before you can kind of put in your MyFitness final. Not everybody knows what they want to eat the next day. But for me, when I'm really trying to see results and when I'm really able to like gain weight is when I'm really intentional and like planning ahead and also counting my calories. So I know it's not for everybody. I'm just sharing with you guys what works for me. And currently I'm really trying to step it up and like achieve these goals. I really do want to put on some weight. I want to just get back to like training how I want and just be consistent. So this helps me be consistent. So like I said, 
I got my chicken fajita. I'm going to put, well, I call it chicken fajita because it's kind of like that. I use some adobo seasoning, lemon, salt, pepper, and garlic. This is literally so, so good. And now if you can't just do chicken and rice, chicken and rice, try adding in bell peppers or like your favorite veggies when you season because they hold so much flavor and they just like, they're not dried out. Like sometimes your chicken can be dried out. That's why I make it like for only like two three days i don't like to make chicken for the entire week because i've done it before it just it's just dry but like the fifth day i'm over it and then i obviously got some rice so i prepped all this yesterday and i don't know if i showed you guys my steamed broccoli so i'm gonna heat all this up chicken rice broccoli so simple fast and easy and even though i was in traffic for like three hours total or close to three hours I'm still staying on track. So that's why I say like being prepared is what is going to make the difference and help you on days where, you know what I mean, everything is kind of all over the place. I know how hard gaining weight is when you're trying to still eat healthy because for me, I know that bulking doesn't mean that I just eat a bunch of crap and not pay attention to like what I'm putting in my body. I've done it that way before and I just, now that I'm more educated and older and stuff and still breastfeeding I'm not gonna do that so it's even harder when you're trying to bulk and still be health conscious because obviously the healthier stuff is gonna be less sugar less calories therefore you have to eat more of it I know I just rambled forever but I really hope that that helped anybody who is like me and is trying to bulk or just feels like you struggle to get enough calories especially with being a mom because right now in order to film this we got crew drinking drinking out of a cup that has nothing in it and taking all the tubware out. I can pick that up in two seconds after I'm done, okay? Oh yeah, I wanted to share another thing. I think everybody knows this by now, but obviously look at my portion. It's really big of rice. Um, and if you are storing rice in the fridge, you know it's gonna be hard. So I like to put a little bit of water um, over your rice because it'll just fluff it up and bring it back to life. Okay, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I had to put some sriracha on this as well. It really doesn't need it because the flavor is so good, but it was so good on my breakfast this morning that I'm like, I could do sriracha again. Y'all, eating in the playroom has become a regular thing now. I'd rather just do this so I can keep an eye on him and at the same time be able to enjoy my meal. So, real life, okay? <laughs> y'all today has been a day y'all don't even understand just saw him over these braids already and i'm really trying to hold on to them because it took me literally two days to do this and i think i've had them in for a week maybe now i'm trying to i gotta get at least two weeks out of these so yeah i really want to say before i put this together number one i know my presentation don't be all fancy and all that but honestly i just feel like that's so unrealistic like I mean, some people might be like culinary students and they got that, but I don't, I don't got time. And at the end of the day, as long as it's nutritious and filling and good for you, like that's all that matters. It don't need to be aesthetically pleasing. But like I said, I already have salmon that I air fried yesterday. Okay, that, that actually looks disgusting. But I promise you it's not. It's just the teriyaki marinade and stuff on it. So what I put on this salmon was a teriyaki marinade, soy sauce, um, salt, pepper, and lemon. And then I got... Did I get rice out? I don't need rice. And I already prepped these baked potatoes as well. And then you know my broccoli from earlier. So I literally, all I have to do is just put this on a plate, put this in the microwave and dinner is done. Now I will let you guys know if I eat something after this. Most likely I will have something sweet or I will have some of Thailand's wings that he just ordered because those also sound good and I'm starving. So sometimes this is like just not enough. As long as I am getting in like these main meals, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this and eat this first before I dig in and his wings or something. And that kind of helps me stay a little bit more on track. But I'm not gonna lie right now, I really do want like a soda with this. And I'm really trying to cut back on my soda intake because soda is really not good for you at all. And I've, I've known this for a while and I just absolutely love a good soda like let me know in the comments if you're like me if you're a pop a soda i don't know what you guys say i look crazy right now sorry i put on all this cream on my face and i don't even know if i'm like shining whatever but let me know if you're a soda person that's my kryptonite soda is my that's my thing like i can give up snacks i can give up sweets i can pretty much give up anything else but soda specifically more specifically dr pepper 
And you know what? I kind of feel like, let me let me prep my food first before I get to rambling because I feel like that's all I be doing on here. You know what? And we're taking a real ghetto. I mean, it's the end of the video. It's the end of the day. And I just don't got that creative spark anymore. So we're going to get a paper plate out. Um, but I did take some pre-workout and creatine that I didn't even show you guys. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. I messed it up today. But it's okay. Um, it's just, like I said, it's been one of those days. This Honestly, this whole meal looks real raggedy right now. But... I keep saying it's not about the presentation, okay? I'm gonna eat this. It's gonna fuel my body. It's gonna be good. And if I'm still hungry, I'm gonna have me a wing. Even if I'm not hungry, I'm probably still gonna have a wing. So I don't even know if I wanna show y'all. This is quite embarrassing. Girl, that looks a mess and a half. I mean, she look a little, I mean, she, I mean, she don't look that bad, do she? She kinda do. She kinda do. This right here. First of all, if you need to get your calories up, and like I said, we're not just doing junk, but it's all about balance, and at the end of the day, you still gotta live a little, you still gotta have stuff you enjoy. Again, like I said, especially when you're like bulking and stuff, obviously you can do with a little more calories and a little more of the sugar and stuff, but per serving, which is two thirds cups, it's 350 calories, so that's still a lot of calories just for two thirds of a cup. So I'm definitely gonna have some of this tonight. I don't even know if I'm going to put this little slice back in there because that's a violation. Like, that little bit of salmon, how it's just flopping around there. It, it got real, real lazy. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter on this sweet potato. I promise that. So, mm, that's hot. Mm. But y'all, that salmon was done. <laughs> At least we're not going to get salmonella. But she was for sure cooked. <laughs> no, seriously guys, in this new year, I really do want to I want to do a lot <laughs> I really am gonna try to be consistent and also just show up for myself I also want to know like what you guys really do enjoy seeing from me whether it be like the more realistic vlogs like a week in my life or daily vlogs or like a specific just following what I eat in a day my intense workouts whenever I do have some of those because with YouTube to be honest a lot of times I don't know I feel like my followers now or people who are tapped in with me are like much different than they were even six months ago um sorry I'm talking with a mouthful but yeah like are we moms up in here are we you know what I mean college students like Girl, I could really just look at my analytics, but like also I want to know from you guys, like what you guys would like to see from me. Because yeah, I really do, like I appreciate every single comment, every single view. Like, because I feel like this last year, I really was having a lot of just self-doubt um, just about everything, like with doing social media, because I just felt so burnt out and burnt out from my own personal pressure. And also just feeling like I needed to produce perfect content and be up with everybody else and my life wasn't reflecting that and it was just impossible so i feel so like so much relief and excitement for my content to come because i'm only going to be real on here i only can that's all i can do and it's just refreshing because i've taken that pressure off myself and i appreciate the people who genuinely see that and love that and are continuing to tune in um so yeah i really appreciate you guys and uh, it's gonna be my last meal that I have my sweet potato broccoli and salmon I know pretty basic, but honestly stick with what you know Then you don't make it over complicated and all that but and then I'm gonna have my, my ice cream obviously after But yeah, other than that my camera is going to die. So it's perfect timing. But I love you guys so much um, God bless all of you guys and I will see you in my next video Bye. What was that? I never do that